Hi there, and welcome back to Word Soda for Life. We are here again with guest star July, and of course, y'all remember, I always get the camera wrong, y'all remember Amy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, today we are trying Coca-Cola Ultimate. Uh, it's another one of those weird Coca-Cola creations. Uh, you may remember the one that tasted like space or the one that tasted like a pixel. Uh, we've tried all of them on the channel and this is no different. This is apparently League of Legends inspired, something I know very little about. Um, anyway, Amy, you had a bit of an adventure getting this bottle. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so I wasn't sure when you asked me, I was, I was like, of course I'll do this. And I was on Dolphin Island and one of my friends that I was with, Leah was at the store and I said, can you grab me one? And then she did. And then we decided to do it today, which I left yesterday. And then I got home last night and realized it's still on the beach. So I guess the soda's <laughs> living its best life. <laughs> uh, but you gra you graciously went out and grabbed another bottle. Yeah, I found it again at, my, uh, at Publix. <laughs> yeah, and I, I got mine from our Meyer. Um, I was really surprised when I spotted it because it looks a whole lot like the caffeine-free versions of Coca-Cola. I almost, I thought I was going to have to go to a different store because I was like, they don't have it. And then I looked again, and I'm like, they do have it. You just don't know how to read. Well, I mean, and to be fair, though, like, so we're, I'm going to hold this up to, again, why am I, I've been doing this for over a year, why am I so bad with the camera? Um, you can look at the design, and it looks very heavily, unless you're looking very closely, where it says League of Legends, and if you're looking at it, it does look like it's just saying it's caffeine-free, um, and it's apparently XP flavored, and as you know, on Weird Soda for Life, we are all about gaining experience, so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, other than that, the only real critique I have so far is that, like, make your designs more distinct. Maybe this is a League of Legends thing. I don't. Maybe I know nothing about League of Legends. No, I just know it's an MMO, and then like there's dances and stuff. Or maybe I'm confusing it with Fortnite. I am an old. <laughs> I know Fortnite has a lot of dancing. Is League of Legends the one? There's one MMO where there's all kinds of tournament, and then maybe all of them have tournament tournaments, and people make crap tons of money. I feel like that's one of them. I feel like there's teams. Like, yeah, it is teams. I do know that. Yeah, I think I've it's been forced to watch a video of the teams playing the game. Hmm. Oh, is this like millennial slash Gen Z Starcraft? Is this what this is? Maybe. Oh my God, we're gonna get. Uh, well, no, let's face it, very few people watch these videos, except people who <laughs> tend to at least be amused by me anyway, so I'm probably not going to get roasted in the comments. But, uh, I was going to say, you know, and if they do, that means people uh, care enough to say something. Yeah, they're <laughs> what a way to put a spin on it. They cared <laughs> enough to stop you. <laughs> yeah, they care enough to tell you that you're stupid. Yeah, I love that for me. <laughs> All right. And with that, I'm going to open it up and we'll take a sniff to see if we can figure out what XP smells like, I guess, first, and then we'll uh, take a taste test. Uh, I feel like if it's real XP, it should smell like blood and sweat. I got nothing. It smells a little fruity, like yeah. a nondescript fruit. Why is that the, always the go-to for things nowadays? But All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Cheers. <laughs> if it's that much more distinct than coca-cola it's like it doesn't you know that like oh no bite may be the wrong word of a soda like when you drink it yeah it like doesn't have that yeah it's as if they made coca-cola without like the sharp tang that coca-cola mm -hmm. usually has like uh i think people affectionately kind of call it like battery acid <laughs> but yeah it, it's like it doesn't have that we just kind of just cruise on into the coke flavor I mean, there's yeah. some, there's a light, there. yeah, there's a light hint of something fruity. I almost want to call it watermelon-ish, but like yeah. not, but it's not quite that either. It's, I say this all the time. I feel like that, this should be a catchphrase. It's not bad. Like I say yeah. that for a lot of these sodas. I mean, but having genuinely had really bad sodas, like it's not and but i just don't think it's distinct enough to like warrant its own thing like yeah like it should not stay a thing 
no uh like we've again we've had a, or at least i've had other creations ones and, and you've had some too even though we haven't tried them together like specifically like that star one the one that's yeah. supposed to taste like space like that was distinct yeah that was unique and like even if you didn't like the flavor i mean i liked it just fine i think you were fine with it too but like yeah. even if you had feelings about the flavor it it was because it was distinctive enough to stand on its own with right this is have, have you done move on the on the channel yet yes like move okay. is another one yeah it that, tasted yeah. Kind of, sorry she go on that one up. no she picked that one up for me and i was like well we're not doing that one so let's go ahead and try it i don't like pina colada but yeah. if you like pina colada, I could like Leah loves pina colada, so she ended up drinking it. But I was like, I know that that is a pina colada, and I hate pina coladas. <laughs> right, and and when I tried it on the channel, I was delighted because I I had never thought about pina colada with Coke, and like it's a thing I would do again. But that's because I'm okay with coconut and the pineapple and stuff in there. Yeah. It's distinct. You whether you love it or hate it, you have an opinion on it because it's right. different. And this is not and so maybe the xp we gained was that we just got bamboozled <laughs> to buy a coke <laughs> i do believe i do believe they got 450 out of me between the two sodas yeah and i have a i have the zero version of it and maybe the zero version of it will taste a little more distinct just by the nature of it having coke zero in it but like i was noticing i wonder i hardly drink soda um and I did notice that this has 65 grams of sugar. I thought they normally had 45, but that might be a can that I'm thinking of. Maybe, yeah, I that's... I know that I usually get a can because I do love... I don't know if you did this Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. Yeah, yeah. The, and I, I drink the zero one of that all the time. Like, it's delicious. I try the zero because that that's good. Yeah. I like it better than regular Dr. Pepper. Not I'm not sure if I like it better but i like it about equal for sure like and like sometimes the, with the cream flavor in it it's really really nice uh but yeah i drink the zero sugar one all the time i need to try the zero sugar one yeah because if you like it because if it's especially if it's cold i think you'll notice less of a difference between the two that's good. um but that's yeah it's really good but this is this is just coke guys yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this it's, is just, it's coke without that weird like acid bite at the beginning acid bite, yes so <laughs> um you don't have to spend your money on it yeah you don't have to spend your money on it if you like coke <laughs> like if you like coke great just go get a coke <laughs> yeah um but until next time drink weird and this doesn't count <laughs> <laughs> see you next time bye